Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call the Common Council to order. I will ask our clerk to call the roll to determine a quorum. Alderperson wrote. Here. Vitale. Here. Weigel. Here. Barzak. Here. Chapleski. Here. Haas. Here. Lysak. Here. May. Here. Probst. Here. Ranky. Here. Ten present, none excused. A quorum is present. Alderman wrote will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have no public hearings this evening, so we will go right to item E on our agenda, which is citizen participation. Is there anybody in the audience that wishes to address the council under citizen participation this evening? Okay, seeing none, we will close citizen participation. We will move on to item F. Our standing committees will be meeting during recess and those room numbers are listed on your agendas on page one. Uh, moving on to item G, I'll uh, take all the time we have left from the fact there were no public hearings to do my mayor's report this evening because <laughs> I have quite a few things. Um, first, as many of you know, we have, um, a little girl in our community who has been organizing cleanups and we have had great support from the community from the fire department from the police department and she's had groups of 20 to 30 people going out picking up litter on Wednesday evenings the next one is going to be tomorrow night and the, um, the first two that she did were kind of in the downtown area well this time she is going to be starting with her crew at Vets Park on 70th and National and that is tomorrow night uh, from 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock, so if you have an hour and are able to stop out and help Morgan Zach with her Zach attack, that is tomorrow night. Uh, let's see, I also want to mention while we're on the topic of Vets Park that the police department has rebranded their um, crime prevention department and it is now going to be known as the Community Services Bureau and they have officially moved their offices from the station on Lincoln to Vets Park in the substation on 70th and National. Uh, they had a grand opening this past weekend and it was fairly well attended by the community. So feel free to stop in and check out their new location. I also want to announce that uh, when, I, when I stood here a couple of years ago being inaugurated, we had announced efforts and intentions to make the city more business friendly and the development department, Patrick Schloss and Bart and several others have been working very hard on a 
business first guide, which is hopefully going to end up being a one-stop shop for people that want to open business in West Dallas. We had sent it through um, various department heads, various business owners through the Chamber of Commerce, trying to get comment from as many people as possible. There are still a few minor tweaks to be made, but that should be uh, printed in the next couple of weeks, and then we will get um, copies out to everybody who wants one, Chamber and other businesses, um, and hopefully prospective uh, developers and such for West Dallas. Also want to announce the 48th annual West Dallas Historical Society Banquet is going to be held on Monday, October 20th. The um, social hour will be at 5.30, dinner starts at 6.30. Tickets are available for $20, and this year's speaker is a gentleman by the name of Austin Frederick, who will be speaking on the history of Ellis Chalmers tractors. Tickets can be ordered by calling the Historical Society at 541-6970. Okay. I do have an announcement also that one of our uh, residents, um, Jordan Plantico, I don't know if any of you caught this on the news, uh, he was born and raised in West Dallas and went to General Mitchell Elementary School and then on to Frank Lloyd Wright Middle School and then on to Nathan Hale where he started to play football and wrestle. Between sophomore and junior, senior year, he was diagnosed with severe asthma and was having trouble continuing with his competitions. At the end of his junior season, he had to be pulled from a regional wrestling tournament due to his asthma. And he decided not to continue. He did play one more year of football at Hale. So in August of 2013, he competed in the Wisconsin State Fair Open Powerlifting Competition and did amazingly well, came home with two trophies and a real big interest in that sport. Now, where is this going? Um, he continued training at Men's Nationals in Philadelphia in June of 2014 and exceeded his expectations by taking first place, qualifying for the world competition. Before he left Philadelphia, his mother received a call from Kurt St. Romain, who was the head of the USA World Team, inviting Jordan to be on the world team in Oroshaza, Hungary in late August to compete in the world powerlifting competition. Came down to the very end, but the point of this rambling is that Jordan won the gold, beating the number one seed who was a Ukrainian and took first place for the United States in the 93 kilogram sub-junior division after really being in the sport for only six to seven months. His final numbers came in at squatting 705 pounds, benching 435 pounds, and deadlifting 650 pounds, which is a total of 1,790 pounds. So this is an individual who was born and raised in West Dallas who could probably lift up the entire common council. <laughs> um, so I want to congratulate Jordan Planico on his accomplishments, we have a world champion in powerlifting, born and raised right here in West Dallas. Uh, lastly, Fox 6 High School. Every year they do a Channel 6 football blitz. They have a poll going on on their website right now for the um, high school blitz game of the week. As you probably know, this Friday, Hale plays Central, or Central plays Hale, depending on where you come from. And you can vote up until Thursday night on Fox 6's website to have Tom Pippins visit the West Dallas Athletic Complex and be in attendance at the game. One last thing I was just told on my way in. <clears throat> we closed on the hotel today. Um, we should be breaking ground within a month. Their goal is to open by July 15th of next year. I'm sorry, July of 2015. And as you may have heard, it's going to be a Hampton Inn and Suites, 101 rooms. 30 to 40 full-time jobs, and another 30 to 40 part-time jobs. I'm done. <laughs> that concludes the mayor's report. Do we have any older person's reports this evening? Did I tire you all out? Mayor Devine. Alderman Lysak. I believe there is a, a correction to tonight's agenda. Agenda item number 22 should be a joint referral to include the Administration and Finance Committee and Public Works Committee. I then move for approval of the minutes of the Common Council regular meeting of September 2nd, 2014. Second. second. There's a motion and a second by Alderman May. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Items not referred to committee. I'll ask for a motion to place item one on file and refer two, three, and four to the city attorney. So, so moved. moved. Motion by second. Alderman Weigel, second by Alderman Probst. Any discussion? All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. All opposed, motion carries. Uh, standing committee reports, uh, Administration and Finance Committee, Alderman Vitale. No report at this no time. No report, thank you. Mayor Devine. Alderman Lysak. I move that we stand in recess until conclusion <coughs> of the committee meetings. Second. There's a motion with a second by Alderman Reinke. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? We are in recess. <laughs>